Welcome back to Movie Spoiler. Today, I'm going to explain a movie called Bad Teacher, release in 2011. At her farewell party, Elizabeth fakes having missed to her students and co-teachers while gloating about her diamond ring and her retirement as soon as she's married. Before showing off her true colors, recklessly and instantly leaving the school premises. What was supposed to be the best day of her life, turned out to be the worst one. As she comes to her fiancé and his mom, busting her about being a gold digger and breaking off the engagement. With her retirement out the window, she wonders how she'll survive. Three months later, she's back at school stuck at teaching. She makes her way to her classroom only to be stopped by Amy, trying hard to be friendly. Uninterested, Elizabeth quickly ends the conversation and heads out. It's the first day of classes and Amy is proving to be committed at her job, actively engaging her students. On the other hand, Elizabeth arrives late and drunk, spitting out the cookies the students gave her and having them watch a movie for her to get some sleep. Still hungover at lunch, she ignores a student getting bullied before turning down Russell, who politely approaches her and asks her out. Unbothered, she starts an argument with Amy, telling her to leave her and her teaching ways alone. On her way out, Elizabeth halts upon seeing the new substitute teacher, Scott. As soon as she spots his luxury watch, her demeanor instantly changes. She volunteers to show him around and gets extra friendly. Upon discovering that he's recently single and seeing his ex, she realizes what she has to do. Elizabeth visits the best plastic surgeon in Chicago, determined to enlarge her chest. She and convinced upon seeing and feeling how real they are, with the only problem being that she's broke. Set on getting the money, she declares that she'll be back. After learning that there is car wash event that weekend, Elizabeth decides to grab the opportunity and visits Principal Snur. She uses his love for dolphins to her advantage, talking about them and pretending to be interested, before volunteering to supervise the event and persuading him to pick her instead of Amy. Saturday comes, and Elizabeth arrives looking like a woman ready for battle. Wearing the sexiest outfit, she gives the crowd a show as she washes every car leaving everyone drooling and dumbfounded. While supplying some money in her pocket, she flirts with every driver who arrives, causing even the police to crash and create scene. As they watch her talk to a student, Elizabeth declares how she believes Amy is a phony. She proves this when Scott arrives and talks to her and Amy interrupts. As if this isn't enough, she purposely spills about Elizabeth's surgery, before taking him away and acting innocent. While she hurriedly dismisses the meeting later that day, one of the parents approaches Elizabeth about his son. He then asks her to pay extra attention to him before slipping her cash and shaking her hand. Realizing that this will get her some money, she goes around the room, taking bribes in exchange for her students to pass. Elizabeth continues to disregard Russell and flirt with Scott, dancing with him and pretending to be bubbly. She eagerly agrees when he asks her to talk somewhere private, only to discover that he has a crush on Amy. Obviously annoyed, she makes up stories about her, even telling him that she's only after his money. She smiles from relief once she knows he's discouraged. After pressuring Lynn to take a hit and letting her go, Russell and Elizabeth spend some time alone. They good around in the gym before lying on mats and talking about life. Rejected again, she still tells her that she's fine even without the surgery. As they watch the school bands play, Elizabeth encourages Lynn to have fun and flirt with some cowboys. She pushes her and gives her tips until she hesitantly agrees. When Russell sees how effective Elizabeth's tactics are, he randomly asks her out again, to which she quickly declines. They continue with their banter until Scott speaks up and plays a song. She waves at him and assumes it's her, but she slowly realizes that the song is for Amy. As he jumps for joy, Elizabeth can't help but focus on what she believes is her only advantage. While she takes out her annoyance at Lynn, Elizabeth accidentally learns about the state test bonus and how Amy always gets it and realizes that she can use the money as well as win over Amy. Things turn around in Elizabeth class, from watching TV every day and having it easy all the time, her students are now reading books and competing for stars, as well as not being hit by ball. In one of their classes, Russell interrupts, only to help a kid aim right and hit Elizabeth right in the head. Seeing that all her hard work isn't translating into good results, Elizabeth takes out her frustrations on her students. After making a mess and dismissing them to study more, she realizes that what she needs is to get a copy of the test. 
She disguises as a journalist to meet up with Carl, the professor in charge of this year's exam. Once she discovers that it isn't going to be easy, Elizabeth turns on her charm and starts flirting with him. She sweetly talks to him, and he gives in easily, agreeing to go to his office and do it there. As soon as they arrive at his office, Elizabeth goes into action. She secretly drugs him, forcing him to drink in exchange for sleeping with him. Carl ecstatically clears his desk, getting ready for some action. While she goes out and waits for him to pass out. After a little push, he finally blacks out and she immediately takes his ID and get her hand on the test. One month later, and the results are out. As Principal Snur announces that they reached the highest score for the school this year, Amy gets ready to get her check, only to discover that Elizabeth has dethroned her. After finally booking the appointment for her surgery and making ends meet, Elizabeth drops by the school and leaves a poisoned apple for Amy, who is the chaperone for the filed trip. Assuming that it was from one of her students, she rubs it all over her face before taking a big bite. While Elizabeth is away on the field trip with her boyfriend, Amy decides to go over her things and investigate. She opens her drawers one by one, even switching up their tables in order to unlock it. As soon as she sees the missing wig and torn up test booklet inside, she doesn't hesitate and decides to go all out. With a little bit of threatening and intimidating, she gets Carl to confess that he was fooled by Elizabeth. Amy then immediately tells Principal Snur and while basking in the glory of her success. Meanwhile, Elizabeth has finally scored with Scott. However, she starts to see how unconnected they are, when he decides to only dry humbler. She still uses this to her advantage calling Amy and letting hear her boyfriend moan for her as soon as they're done, with only Scott climaxing. She makes up an excuse and leaves him. Russell sees her going out of the ROM and she instantly looks defensive and tells him it's nothing. With the roles reversed, Elizabeth is the one to ask him for a drink, only go get rejected and left dry. After seeing one of her students get rejected by a popular girl, Elizabeth follows him when he escapes to the woods. She then starts talking to him, giving him advice based on her own experience and realizes during the talk that she was living her life horribly. Before leaving, she takes off her bra and hands it to him, helping with clean intentions for the first time while they watch how holding up a bra. Saved his life, Russell comes up beside Elizabeth, expressing his appreciation for what she did. She continues to deny it and they naturally flirt with each other, as they talk. The trip is interrupted by Amy, who surprises them and declares that the school knows Elizabeth cheated and that it's only a matter of time before she's arrested. With the help of his roommate who horribly threatened Carl, Elizabeth is successful in trying to keep him quiet. Handing him photos that could only ruin his career as she prepares to go to the principal's office. Elizabeth notices that Amy's desk is in her room. Soon enough, Carl arrives and retracts his statement leaving everyone dumbfounded having the upper hand. All of a sudden, Elizabeth decides to play her cards convincing everyone that a retest is a bad idea and persuading them to conduct a drug search. Amy shows her support not realizing that she's been tricked. They all follow the dog who immediately heads into Amy's classroom. When the officer fails to find something at the surface, Elizabeth suggests a false bottom revealing her own stash. Amy then tries to attack her but is pinned against the wall and she tries to convince everyone that she exchanged the desks. While being handcuffed and dragged out, another school year has ended, and with Amy being transferred to the worst school in another district. Scott takes his shot at Elizabeth. He tries his best to charm her, but she decisively rejects him. She the goes to Russell and they engage in their flirty banter until he tells her that he's seeing someone else. Once she realizes that he tricked her, Elizabeth grabs him in for a heated kiss, finally accepting that he is her match. With school starting anew, Elizabeth walks the hallway with Lynn, revealing that she decided not to get the surgery. And she met a guy the same moment they pass Russell and they flirt. Shen then invites Lynn for lunch before coming into her office, ready for her first day in her new role. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new movie recap.